So Piper is very much what I call a people horse. She has humans and she loves humans. She would rather be with humans than other horses, which is odd because horses are herd animals. If small children come, she comes right to the gate. She is definitely enjoying the uh, camaraderie that she has. Piper loves her job. She loves bringing kids. She loves being around humans. She loves being groomed. She loves having her hair braided. She'll put your, her head on kids' shoulder. She's just very a loving horse that likes the attention. So we utilize her a lot for that. Piper is that first horse that a lot of my students see, meet and greet, just to get used if they've never been around a horse. And a lot of kids come that have never been around horses. And that's the first horse that they'll be around pony. So Piper plays an important role to the whole process here at Aloha Riding Lessons. I love Piper. Piper seemed to be the all-around best pony for groundwork, and you could put a kid on its back and have them canter for the first time, and they would do an awesome job. And then one day I came and I noticed that Piper had started growing long hair and a couple other little things were off with her. She was not great with her feet and found out after we pulled a blood sample that she had what's called Cushing's disease, which is the same as what humans have. So from there, she gained what's called laminitis and it means they're very sore on their front feet. Piper was having a really hard time walking. To lose Piper was very heartbreaking to me and I did everything that I could to save her. And one of those things, besides calling the vet, was to get the farrier involved, and that's when I talked to Brendan. Hello, my name is Brendan Kanakole, certified farrier with the American Farriers Association, and uh, this here is Piper. Now, Piper has a disease called founder, and founder is basically just a rotation of the coffin bone line right here inside the hoof capsule. Because of the rotation, it puts an excessive amount of pressure on the front half of the hoof or the toe area, and it causes the horse to, to be lame and really sore. So the solution to that is to, um, one, trim back the heels to change the angle of the bone, uh, and two, we're gonna apply a heart bar shoe. The, the heart bar shoe is, is made to support the coffin bone and, and give it some support and hold it up. While we do that, we have to make sure we eliminate some of the dead hoof wall in the front. So while the heart bar is there holding the bone up, the healthy hoof wall can start to grow down and form a nice tight bond with the, with the bone. So first of all, we're gonna trim back the heels. You can tell there's a lot of pressure on the front half of the hoof, mainly by looking at the hoof growth rings on the hoof itself. The growth rings here are telling me that the heels have way too much height. So I only trim the heels because I'm trying to change the angle of the bone, which therefore takes pressure off of the, the sore area right here. So next we're gonna go and cut out the heart bar. So the heart bar has to be cut and welded into the middle of the shoe. So it'll support the frog. Okay, this is the uh, final fit. So I'm just gonna check and make sure that uh, the placement of the heart plate is exact and on point before I make the final adjustment and nail the shoe on. It's a good fit. I'm gonna grind it, grind off the corners, take off the sharp edges before I put the shoe on. Okay, this is the final product of the heart bar shoe. Now, really important, the last step is that we only want to put uh, two nails on the heels. We never want to put anything up here because this is where the horse is sore. So as you can see here, we came a week earlier and resected the toe and cut out all of the dead material. So you see a missing gap here in front of the shoe. Well, that's where the foot is supposed to be. So now that I have the heart bar on there, supporting the bone, it's making room for the healthy material to come back in and grow down and fill in the gaps. Okay, so now you just have just seen the application of the, the right foot, uh, the heart bar. And so I'm gonna weld up the, the left side. I'm gonna fit it on, put it on, and then we're gonna come back in a week to check how the horse is doing. Um, just judging by the way, she's licking her lips, her facial expression. She is telling me that she likes the feeling of the shoe. He 
said that it would take a couple of months to get her back on her feet. And one day I pulled up and her stall happens to be right where I park. And I noticed that she wasn't in there. And of course, the first things go through your mind are always probably the worst. And then I met with the barn manager and she said, oh, did you see Piper? And I said, no, she's not in her stall. And she goes, oh, look, she's out in the arena. She's walking around. So I just let her go and kind of hang out and have fun. And I looked out there and here's Piper running and playing with her best friend Cricket. And the two of them are hanging out. She's on her feet. She's standing up. She's playing. She's the old Piper again. Even her facial expressions on a horse, if you can call it that, looked relieved. Like she's not in so much pain anymore, which she's ready to go again. She's really good. We're, we're very lucky.